What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 campaign. That's the Swedish Empire, and in this episode we have been intercepted by the British. I mean, we we're already going to attack the city anyway, but they've intercepted us before we made it. So they've got a bunch of generals, some good cavalry units, a mixture of artillery, 33rd foot, which you have to kill them, 60th American rifles, Defensible the 95th Rifles, we need to make sure we kill them. Lots of Light Dragoons, King German Legion. 92nd Foot, 87th Foot. Artillery, Light Dragoons, Royal Horse Guards, Raw Marines, King's German Legion. Light Foot, Fencibles, Regiment of Foot. Well, the curious thing is I want to see if this will be a, uh, a river battle. Because we've been intercepted on the bridge. It might not be, it could well just be a regular battle, but I'm just curious. If it's a river battle, that would be brilliant. Nah, regular battle it is. But we will advance and bring battle to the British. They have a significant cavalry contingent, so we need to be a bit careful with how we deploy ours. We don't want to lose that flexibility. Especially as we know, reinforcements from um, Stockholm will take a long time to get here. God, Tate, this is a real flat lo real flat battlefield okay first of all let's get my delta into a position well actually you guys form a line but problem is is artillery is handy in this game but it's also super inconvenient because the trajectory is so flat. Keep my six pounders behind my line, keep my twelves on the flank. But I will probably want my Indelta plus a couple of Vavade in the center. Ultimately, our previous tactics of just slowly advance up and ratchet up the pressure on the flanks just seems to work really well. So we'd be silly to not keep doing that, I think. Keep my howitzers behind my line. By massing your artillery, it's possible. Yeah. By massing your artillery. Let's try to get up get out ahead of the trees. where the reinforcements are coming in from. It remains to be seen where the enemy are hiding. I heard a cavalry charge. Are the horse guards just aggroing immediately off the bat. There's the 95th. Hold on. You guys are going down, matey. But it stands to reason, based on their MO, that's where most of their troops are hiding, is around here somewhere. Here comes all of their general, general units. A massive general staff convention. I have to keep pushing. Can't not push. Here, cavalry charges. Nope, they, they called that off. To be honest, you can probably add limber there.
They might be hiding back here behind these trees as well. Yeah, there's a handful. It's because the cavalry was getting stuck. Come on, lads. Yeah, it's enough to convince you not to run, not to charge me. Oh, bad luck. Why do they die so quickly? Just managed to get over here in time to drop those guys into square. It's enemy light dragoons and the first horse guard are over here on the flank. Advance. Withdraw my cavalry on this flank to try and get over towards my own square. That's what I want to do, bring my lights along. There we go. I'm going to bring them through into my square formation, keep my heavy cavalry out of the fight. There we go. Now the Brits fighting against my square formation. You men get out of square, form round, advance around the flank, push my cavalry up. There you go, now they're fighting my square formation, I can counter charge with my light cavalry without having them without worrying so much. How it says drop shells on the tenth light foot in the centre. Keep my cavalry mobile. Come at me, light horse, my cavalry's in good shape. Thirty third foot, which if you're fans well, of the Sharp the series, he's in one of the, he starts off his career in India. Enemy general killed, William Brerisford. See if we can knock out another general, we can. Need to be careful with our cavalry out on the flank here. You may drop into squares because the 13th light horse are on their way. Yep, 
be we have killed their general sir now they must break the actual general keep on advancing Go on, Fat Jaeger. Fifth Light Horse charging again. No, they're not, they're just advancing. Although they're going to be in the line of fire. Push my cavalry up to charge into the rear of the 33rd and break that flank. Is raining down. The 60th are advancing at dangerously close range. Charge into the 33rd foot. My general over here to protect them. 60th rifles. Very brave of them to get so close. I'm sure that there's the 95th. Last of the fighting 95th. Get my light cavalry to chase down the 33rd foot. 7th Horse Guards attack the General Staff. There's some of the reinforcements coming in. Horse Guards, Light Horse. Dragoons charge the 5th. There we go. Advance this flank, the left flank up. Get my General back over to the centre. Pull my cavalry back towards the safety of my infantry line. You men don't really know what to do, do you? There goes the ninth light horse. Me and my light dragoons hold ground. Because they're already they're exhausted. Where's the 95th? They're taking the place of the 60th. They're relieving Captain Fredrickson. So where is Sharp himself? There he is. That's what I'm saying is him anyway. He never really led rifle troops apart from in the first series. In the first couple of episodes with the Chosen Men. So you guys attack the guns just to make sure they do break Mind the light horse are charging in they're already winded sir, sir, our general is under attack they just under fire from some misses near misses Twelfth Regiment is getting upset. They're going to be concerned about the, the absolute pounding they're going to get from the Seventh Regiment of Foot. Let's get my sixes over here. With my twelves, because that's give, give, give them a direct line of fire onto where the enemy are coming in from. Prince of Wales' own Irish. Didn't even realise that was a regiment. Cool. Form square. 
So there goes the 12th Regiment. The 8th Regiment forms square as well. Chamfer off this corner. Hurrah! The 20th Light Horse attempts to charge along with the 14th, but they will die at the head of our square formations. General Staff is advancing. He's had enough. My general to support the left flank, the light infantry have done a fantastic job holding. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest. I'm away. sure they are, but don't worry. Yeah, there's the enemy the actual army itself coming in. 87th, 92nd foot. King's German Legion, Royal Marines. They look pretty good. Some comfort it would be to them though, to see their entire the army that was before them just retreating on the mass. Uh, the light infantry broke. They may well recover. Advance. Advance. Come on, it's the ninth in the, this unit of Indelta. Sharp is... Sharp's dead. The officer's no longer alive. Oh no, there he is. Confident and they're exhausted. You men fall back to the square. Ninety fifth are redeploying. Send the unit of Bjornborg forward to... Oh no, don't. There's enemy cavalry. Four on 95th. Okay, now they're getting a bit concerned. Is the officer still alive? I think the officer might be dead. Yep, I think uh, their officer's dead. So Sharp's dead. What about Captain Fredrickson? I think Captain Fredrickson might be dead as well. They all look like riflemen. Dear, dear, dear. And Limber the 12. Form our new front rank. So we've got a couple of units coming in, some artillery coming in. That's not going to do much good. The third light foot are advancing. You men charge the rifles. You men 
form up. There we go, there go the rifles. So you men charge the guns. You two men. Okay, the twelves are unnumbered. Yeah, just take out the artillery. You men fire it will off. Form ranks. Any more coming in? Your ninth light foot. Hello. But let's speed up time. Let's allow my line to redeploy. Might even try and get you guys a bit further out on the flank. This is it now. The merge is on. Ooh. Hello, horse guards. What are you guys doing? You're stuck behind infantry, that's what you are. Mm, you may not horse guards me, sir. So those units, units that have come back, mostly the 95th that have come back. Horse guards can knock out this unit of light foot. Get my general into the centre because he's about to see some. He's about to say he was going to see some bayonet action. Let's try smash the light foot. With my cavalry on that flank. Dragoons hit the 87th on this flank. So the cavalry's fallen back. Rally my men. Right, format. You may have taken out the 87th. Form our line. Make sure you do a good amount of damage to the 87th. New men withdraw. All my Glorious guns barrage the 9th light foot. Yeah, they're not coming back. The rifles is point blank range. That's the bugler, he's still kicking. That's the Gordon Highlanders. These these guys are it's very, very unfortunate for them. Because they've arrived right on the battlefield when Everybody is routing. Get my light cavalry to trot towards the general staff. I guess the Royal Marines cut down to size. And let's get my cavalry out of here. Where are 
My Dragoons are going to have to hit the sick horse guards, but at least they're wavering already. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of here. You men, we all need to advance. Advance towards, we're in a be in a better position to deal with the new threat. The Gordon Highlanders need to be taken out. A lot of friendly fire now. You guys limber up. Get the cavalry out wide. As soon as the Gordon Highlanders are down, we can envelop the remainder of the British force. Yeah, the Indelta opening up. They're being cut down. Cut down and destroyed. Don't worry, soon, Highlanders, we will march on your own homeland. Tenth Light Foot Routing. Militia, 10th Regiment of Foot. Ninth Light Foot Expeditionary. You men advance towards the third light foot. I didn't really intend to have you guys pursue, but actually if their cavalry is not going to successfully rout, then you may as well. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Charge the third light foot. Gordon, the Gordon Highlanders are down. Oh, they can't... They, so these guys have routed, but there's units that have stacked up behind them that can't get to the edge of the map. Although they are going to have to turn around and hit the 4th Regiment. The Fensibles get my cavalry... Onwards toward the general staff. And the howitzers to keep dropping shells onto the 9th Regiment of Foot. Ooh, this militia unit. Oh, you haven't got fire at will turned on. I see, neither of you. My mistake. You were behind the line. Yeah, the fence was morale's gone down hard. Yeah, there they go. 95th rifles, get him. Kill every last one. You men, kill the general. They were the fools that attempted to intercept us, rather than defend the city. Pursue the general. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Trot my cavalry around to where the gap will be. Or I could just charge into the back of the 28th, cause them to break. Then make the ninth break. Cease fire with the artillery. Yeah, cavalry is MVP. Very much MVP. In Napoleon Total War 3, it would appear. New men bang at charge the ninth. The men of the team you men must rest. at charge the 28th.
There we go, bayonet charge will see them off. They're only light infantry. Let's rally my men. Fighting in the combat. There we go. 28th are gone. And the 9th are also gone. Excellent. The British forces guarding Cardiff have been shattered. Only 500 men left to defend the city. So you men, get off the bridge. Mr. Backstrom. I got ambushed by... wait, I got ambushed by you. Okay. This could be dicey. Ambushes are potentially very, very bad. But it's not a mass... obviously because you get no deployment. So the main threat will come from there. Okay, right. Oh, no, it won't. Get my cavalry to run over here quickly. The cavalry that wants to try charge us is going to find itself in trouble. Because I am going to be... Run. Don't walk. Run. I need to, I need to save as much of my cavalry as I can. New men deploy off to the flank. Excellent. That's quite the breakwater. My light dragoons might have struggled to get through the terrain. But I managed to cut my cavalry through this gap and save them. The enemy cavalry is trying to pursue. They can't get through my infantry. No idea where my guns are. Okay, let's... Start to deploy... My infantry, ready to... Repel... Enemy troops over there. I need a few standing pickets. Deploy all my artillery in a great line. You men hold position. Foot guards are deploying stakes. Mr. Backstrom out of this combat and over towards the center. Get over here, sir. Bayonet charge those British troops that are charging our line. Inspire our men. But you know. Charge, actually. Be careful of the stakes. Light horse, uh, light horse versus horse guards. That's going to be a dodgy, a dodgy sell. Be 
there we go. Don't follow the charge through the enemy stakes. You're going to have to run around them. But we've broken that British charge. So we can advance and form a new line rapidly. My cavalry can counter charge the artillery. Their cavalry is going to hit my defensive line here. Push the flank. Knock out the artillery. Good. So if you run away just enough, you can drop squares down. Drop a square down. A few men keep running, and if they give you a little bit of breathing space, you men can drop square down. Get my light dragoons back. Because we've got a unit of light horse Sir. coming in. Sir. Our general is under attack. Not Mr. Backstrom. You men advance around one side, you men advance around the other. Light Dragoon Scouts. This is their general's unit. that. It's the unit of Royal Engineers. They've been caught out quite dramatically. Okay, you men form square. You men stay where you are actually because they're going to charge through you into the square anyway. Even if you guys are out, that's not the end of the world. This detachment of four troops can advance, except my cavalry advance towards the enemy general. Charge the remaining infantry that survive. Horse guards advance around towards the scouts. My light horse will be enough to knock out the Innis Killing Regiment. It's the mine that went off. Yeah, there we go. Sixth foot guards are in an awkward position. There we go. So let's speed up time. Because what we're about to see... A glorious victory, sir. Just my it's cavalry advance. And my infantry advance. Up towards the 15th light horse. Although, obviously... Some of these troops have come back, but that's why I've got two good cavalry units. We'll, they'll make quick work of them. Third horse guards and the fourth horse guards. Cursier and lifeguard at Tilhast. Getting Mr. Backstrom over here. There we go, both those units are broken. Don't run away. Charge! Charge the light horse! I've pulled my audio cable out from my headset.
There we go, the 15th light horse. I'm going down. Safe to say your ambush didn't go to plan. There we go, my guys are about to break. Obviously there's more. They've come back. That's the most annoying thing about this entire... This version of Napoleon is that stuff takes so long to route and they just never fully route, ever. So when you're at the tail end of a battle like this, you want to just go, Oh god, you're done for, just leave it. Smash into them. They will almost immediately rout. There they go. Awesome. So your ambush didn't quite go to plan. Although it did damage the army I was hoping to take Cardiff with. But at the same time, we can take the city. Lots of light dragoons, lots of partisans, lots of local militia. Let's do it. It's been a, just a solid hour of fighting the British around Cardiff. But it will break their strength. We will take the region and we can then redeploy our troops to head north and advance up towards Scotland. It's easy to forget while we're fighting against the Prussians, we're actually creating quite a valuable... Uh, front for us here in capturing the uh, capturing capturing Great Britain it means that we can start to attack the northern shores of Prussia with extra troops yeah, mostly partisans they've got some light cavalry but it's not going to be a problem Guns trundling behind. Okay, keep moving up. Yeah, the enemy force is mostly partisans. Militia. And they're all going to be hiding somewhere in a big block. I'm hoping if I can get my guys around these trees, we'll get a better view on what's going on over here. Dragoons. Dragoons expeditionary. looks like they've actually deployed in a line. Trot my cavalry towards theirs before breaking into a, a gallop at the last moment. I outnumber your light dragoons. They got nothing. Maintain the advance, keep my cavalry out wide. Get in here to save my light horse. They could go down. Nope, good. Keep my cavalry together. Because yeah, these are militia and militia. They'll go down quite nicely to my cavalry. Especially if they're just going to advance alone like that on one flank. There's partisans with their white coats.
let's advance cautiously because ultimately the main enemy line isn't advancing so smash those three partisan units with my three cavalry units Good, they're both waver wavering. The other unit's still steady. You continue to do damage. Keep on advancing. Okay, they're not coming back. You men recover. They're probably not coming back, but just recover my cavalry in general. They aren't coming back, they're down to 53 men. Bring you guys in to support the light cavalry with bayonet fire. With bayonet fire. Fire the bayonets! Twang! To provide a bit of cover, just to make sure that we do win. Yep, there they go, we've taken them out. So you men form up. There we go. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! I don't care. My general could literally be flying through the air. Warp speed. Does not matter. You men both bombard the partisans, or mob the partisans. You men all attack the 4th Regiment of Militia. You men can bayonet charge that militia unit. You guys halt fire. There we go, they've immediately broken. Is this the secret source? Just start bayonet charging everything. Bayonet charge the general staff. Bayonet charge this. Bayonet charge that. Ultimately, it will definitely help stop things coming back after they've retreated. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest. I don't care. Victory is near. We can mob the general staff. They dodged us. They dodged us. Mo they dodged most of us, but not all of us. Oh, and there's one artillery unit all the way back there. How it's a unit? Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be. It's on. not even firing. It's run on high speed. Go get those gunners. You've also got the fourth regiment of militia to provide backup. Because the cannons, they've gone as well. Hurrah! So that's nearly a full hour of just... Uh, where's the end of the... Oh, 
where's the where's the end battle thingy? Because they aren't. Have I had an end battle thing? I don't think I have. Have we got? Is there like a hidden unit somewhere that doesn't want to show themselves? Hmm. Just a second, guys. I'll go and try and. Oh God. Go on, Mr. Backstrom. Oh no, he can't take him out. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Okay. All my cavalry get back here. Come on, General Staff. There we go. Phew. That would have been a bit of a disaster. But there we go, so we lost 194 men, Cardiff is secured, and we're going to peacefully occupy it to try and not minim not um, overtly impact our ability to continue advancing. We're going to auto-resolve this fight here, secure the small arms factory, that'll improve our ability to respond, or to, um, to replenish. And there we go, let's send one of our cavalry units to Bristol to secure the port and then to build a sloop in its place. Can't build anything here yet. Some buildings in London are still replenishing or repairing, sorry. Uh, factory's good, but I definitely want a supply post to be fighting against the British in Northern England and Scotland, we're going to need that increased replenishment rate. You guys, Mr. Breck, probably can't leave London? Minus five. No, you cannot. Okay. Elsewhere, though. So we took Prague. There it is. I forgot what Prague was for a second. So we've taken Prague. You guys are redeploying to help protect Prague. Um, but we are going to want to take Berlin. Um, but I'm wondering if I want to do a bit of a unit switcheroo to get more guns into the garrison. Although, to be honest, I could just attack with... Oh no, I can't attack with two units. Well... Eh, no, we can hold that there. There's no one... Well, they might sally to help out. It would be advantageous if I could take Munich. So let's take out... Move two cavalry out to the rear. Give them both my units of guns. And then let's attack Berlin. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we assault the Prussian capital of Berlin. Cheers, everyone.